In this question, we are told that um, they give us QT and TV, but that's already been filled in. But then they say that TR is eight units. So that's this entire length. So it's quite weird, but not drawn to scale, obviously. So this length would only be three units because T, the whole of TR is eight, and this is already five. So it looks a bit weird, but these diagrams sometimes aren't drawn according to scale. So we need to work out QS over PS. Now, that's quite an easy one using the proportionality theorem, because if you look in this triangle here, we've got these parallel lines over here. And so we can easily say um, in triangle uh, QVP, can say that QT, well let's start with what we want, it's QS over PS is equal to QT over TV and that's just going to be prop theorem because lines TS is parallel to VP. Now that's not the only reason that you can give, there are others, the other one is line parallel and then side of triangle. Okay, so the, the, I've seen those two different reasons. And so we can go fill this and then QS over PS is equal to QT, which is three over TV, which is five. Okay, so that's number two. So because we got that, I'm gonna go fill in these ratios that we just found, but now those are just ratios that we found. So we just, we can't say that this is now a length of three and this is now a length of five. We could rather say that this is three X's and five X's, for example. We didn't go find the exact length. We just found the ratio. Now for 2.1.2 says the area of triangle PQR, because okay, so that's the entire triangle, over the area of a quadrilateral PSTR. Wow, so this looks quite interesting. So I must be honest, I had to sit and look at this question for quite some time um, because I was trying to work out the area of the quadrilateral directly, but there is no way to do that. So the better approach is actually to do the following. It's to realize that the area of this blue quadrilateral is the big triangle minus the small triangle. Can you see that? It's the big triangle minus this smaller triangle. So let's go work that out first. So the area of quadrilateral PSTR or PSTR is equal to the area of triangle PQR minus the small triangle QST. Pause the video if you need to and think about what I've just said. I'm saying that it's the big triangle minus this little piece. That'll give you the area of the quadrilateral. Now to try keep the number of variables to a minimum, um, I want you to realize that this triangle and this triangle, they both share this common angle Q. So let's use that common angle Q. So we can say that that's going to be equal to the area of PQR. So the formula that I'm going to use is area is equal to a half AB sin C. You know that formula. So it's going to be a half. Now for PQR, and we're using this angle, you're going to take this length, which is 11. And then you're going to take this length, which is 8x. And then you're going to say sin of angle Q. And then you're going to say minus the area of this little triangle QST, which would be a half times by 3 times by 3x. And then also times by the sin of Q. Now, you can go multiply all of these numbers together. It's going to give you 44 sin Q. Oh, but there's also an x. 44x sin Q minus... 4.5x sin q. But now these can be minused from each other because they both have a sin q. And so that can become 39.5x sin q. So that is the area of the blue triangle um, or the blue quadrilateral. So now we can actually go fill this in over here as what the, we know that the area of the quadrilateral is 39.5x sin q and then the area of the triangle pqr we already looked at that over here so that's this one so that means it's this one 44 x sin q 
And then all of a sudden, the sin Q's cancel, the X's even cancel, and so we left with 44 divided by 39.5, and then on the calculator, you're going to get 88 over 79, and to two decimal places, that'll be 1.11. So that's quite a difficult one.